This is Chris Beasley, and in this short video, I'm going to show you the full power of the EIS auto fit routine. The data that you are looking at here are potentiostatic EIS data acquired on a single 18650 lithium ion cell. The model that we're going to fit these data to is shown here. Uh, we have two RC elements, we have two transmission line elements, and a CPE element. So all told, there are 19 parameters uh, in our model. We're going to lock two of those parameters, the length elements, in the transmission line models, and we're going to fit the other 17. So there's 17 free parameters that the EIS auto fit routine is going to fit. I'm going to start a timer, so you can see, because this, you can imagine fitting 17 free parameters is going to take a few minutes. And during the middle of the video, I'm going to speed it up so that you don't have to sit here for the full five minutes that it's going to take. Okay, I click on impedance, click on fit a model, choose my lithium ion model, and I'm going to lock the two L parameters, and I'm going to click on auto fit. So you can see we started at roughly 27 seconds. And so there you have it. Our EIS auto fit routine fits 17 free parameters in roughly four minutes. Now, the some of you who may have noticed that the message box had uh, an alert saying not responded. That is simply because Ecamm Analyst is a single threaded application and uh, once a thread does not respond for uh, several seconds, Windows automatically thinks that something has happened. But as you could see, there was a lot of computation going on underneath the hood. So, I hope you were able to see the true power of the EIS auto fit routine. Thank you for your time.